Primordial Loathing by Thomas Ligotti Read by Jeff Clark I cannot imagine how this voice invaded the dream, yet did not belong to it. O oh, intelligent life of a fool's future, it said, hear this song. If only you could gaze with me from this mere rock, this dull slab which is yet a throne to roiling seas, and if only you could sense beneath those churning waters the slow fierce music of a dim world of monsters. How, then, you would wish yourself to turn about and come back to this land without the maddening patterns and plans of your day. Upon the mist which veils a rustling paradise you could mindlessly gaze at chaotic undulations amidst vines and greenish vapor, the flickering dance of innumerable tails and tongues, and above in the skies smeared over with ashen clouds leathery wings flapping. Dear fallen beast, how you would regret the empty dreams of your time and of all time to come, if only you could see through my lidless eyes this world innocent of hope. Innocent of hope, perhaps, I thought upon waking in the darkness. And yet, O oh wide-eyed lizard, I would hear you sing something of your pain and your panic, the struggle of life and death in a so-called paradise of prehistory. To me it is no temptation, this lyric of long-ago life, of slime itself, of ooze as such. I scorn your eloquence, the poetry of a living oblivion, and now seek a simpler style of annihilation. My hopes remain intact. Your split-tongued words were merely a boorish intrusion on a dream of much deeper things, the incomparably remote. That is what I seek, not a place rife with the organic. And now let me close my eyes once again to follow in dreams the path far beyond all sounds and shapes, falling into that world where I am the brother of silence and share a single face with the void. But the reptile's voice continues to mock me, night after night. It will laugh and rave throughout all the humid nights of history, until that perfect lid of darkness falls over this world once more.